Have you ever dated a woman with children? I have, but I was young. When I was like 22. I had a cougar. Uh huh. She had um, some younger kids. How old is your son? He's 11. He's 11. Uh -huh. And from my experience, I, I told myself I couldn't take a woman with children seriously. Why? A child's always gonna come first. Yes. A child's gonna always come first. I'm going to always need to put you first, but I come second. And technically, he's a 10-year-old boy who's going to get into his teenage years. He's going to be in a situation where you're not my dad, right? I'm not talking about an anecdotal experience. Your son may be a sweet child, but my experience it just hasn't been the best. You have the right to feel however you want about dating a single mom. That's your prerogative, whatever. But you're on a date with a single mom. What are you talking about? Your priority here is supposed to be trying to get a third date. I don't even know why I'm on a second date with you in this moment. Realistically, yeah, we can have some fun. But taking it serious. It's like taking it seriously is just hard because I don't have to, I don't have to settle. I've done certain things in my life to put me at a certain echelon to date a certain top tier. I'm not saying a woman with a child isn't top tier, but like standards wise, it's like I like to travel and be like, yo, let's go. I gotta let's go to Miami, let's do this, let's do that. And it's like, let me call my mom and right. see if she can watch the kid. It's just no real benefit in it for me. Joya? Yes. You didn't ask for another date with him. What was the turn off? Specifically, the turnoff was when I asked that She's question right about now. would you date a single mother? And Jacoby, you proceeded to tell me that basically you're a high value man and you are too good for a single mother. However, you did also tell me that you were raised by a single mother, mm -hmm. which is profound for me to think that a single mother is not good enough for you, but it's good enough for a woman to raise you. That's unfair. And it's very insensitive to women out there who have children. All right. So... Just because it's a cycle, I wanted to wanted to continue. I'm it doesn't have just, to so, continue. So what I'm saying is, it's, is that it's more about why would you cut off and say that single women are not on the same level? What you're supposed to learn from is history. So you're a very intelligent woman. You're a very intelligent woman, right? Yes. So if you know, if, as a as a woman growing up, you know it's a less likelihood for you to be successful by having a child. So what you do, you be more proactive. Using condoms. What's that got to do with your sure choice? You, okay, if you're getting Can pregnant, then all right, cool. Maybe I shouldn't continue with having this child because I'm not. I, I'm not getting married. I should. I a better chance of me having a successful life. You're just speaking of me. Yeah, that's Excuse what I'm thinking. Me. So you're you were raised by a single mother. Yes. And is I, your mother I still alive? I struggle. My mom's still did alive. Did she struggle or did you struggle? Both of us struggle. Okay. So your words mm -hmm. that echoed all around mm -hmm. social media, and I want to make sure that we have this clearly, were. I'm a high value man. I've done things to step up my echelon and I'm not going to settle mm -hmm. for a single mother. Yeah, Did I have sure. that correctly? I want to be clear. Yeah, it will be selling. Right. So what makes you think you're a high value man? The car you drive? No, the value I put out into the world. What about your character? I have great character. I've built myself to basically have better choices. You want to know why? Because women can choose and, and make a choice. They can. They can say, I don't want to date a man that makes like six figures. They can. And then what are you doing? You're but demeaning a man. But we're not talking about that. Women that's not the about situation that Listen, hold on. That's not the conversation. A woman can say, I won't date a man less than 5'8". And a man could be 5'4". Do they, do they care about... What does that have to do exercising all of those with men? anything? If a fat man is sitting here, he can be a fat man, right? Uh -huh. But if a fat woman is sitting here, you would say, oh, no, we're body positive. Oh, no, we can't say that. We can't. It's all about picking her up. So every time you're saying something for a man, Bro, it's down. You got, you got a lot on your back, yeah, okay? Man. So what I'm I want to be I'm clear, just not just for you, but for everybody out there, is the car you drive, your resume, your bank account, uh -huh. your accolades is not what makes you a high-value man. Not not. We are all not defined not. by the sum of our deeds and our character, and you, brother, are coming up to the sum of zero. Mm -hmm. All 